Hallelujah, glory to God. You're welcome to prophetic intercession with a male. Always a privilege each time the Lord leads a prophetic word in my heart that I have to bring out here. God bless you mightily if um, for always coming back here for prophetic words and prophetic direction. God bless you. And if this is the first time you're coming here, God bless you. Thank you so much for joining. May the Lord use this um, platform to minister to you prophetically, give you direction, give you words of edification, and help you identify the voice of the Lord you hear in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. This woman set her eyes on you and had this to say about you. When the Lord gave me this prophetic word, he led me to the book of Micah, chapter 7 and verse 10. It says, Then she that is mine enemy shall see it, and shame shall cover her which said unto me, Where is the Lord thy God? Mine eyes shall behold her now. She, now shall she be trodden down as the mire of the streets. A woman looked at you in your eyes and because of what you are going through, they questioned your God. They said, if indeed you were serving God, why should you be going through this? They questioned the God you serve. They question it because of the surrounding circumstances in your life. And they say, if that is, if God is actually, you serve a, a, a great God, why would you be going through all of this? God says he's about to cover them with shame. He's about to give an answer. You know, the only thing that silence your haters and your mockers are resolved until there is an evidence They'll keep talking. They'll keep bad mouthing you. They'll keep talking against the things that you believe in. But when God starts giving you results, nobody has anything to say anymore. Yes, God says he's about to silence your mockers by giving you result. He's about to quiet them, send them perpetually silent by giving you result, by turning your situation around, by changing the narrative of your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Do you receive this word with gladness? Do you believe that your Redeemer is about to turn things around? If you do, just comment in the, just write down in the comment section. You say, I believe, Lord. I believe. I just need you to reaffirm your belief somehow that God will silence your mockers and haters in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I love you so much. Have an amazing day. Shalom.